But, you know, I, I probably you know? feel a, a similar sense of frustration, but from a different angle. Mm-hmm. But it's when I see these things like uh, the fake celebrity endorsements of cannabis product, like the fake one most recently oh, with uh, Tom Hanks. It relieved 90 percent of my pain. And I'm like, mm. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you saw one with Tom Hanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it turned out to be fake. And like Lady Gaga, like uh, cannabis companies uh, are like literally getting these sort of uh, and hemp companies are all like there's these bad actors <laughs> who are taking fake quotes from fake celebrities and putting them all over websites like talking about using their cannabis products and i got a little fishy of the tom hanks one because underneath his name it just said famous actor <laughs> i was like and oh. this is a, a <laughs> ad? yeah these are ads that companies you? are putting on their website and on the internet Average. quoting all these different people and i mm-hmm. got like and i and i first i was getting mad at the actors i was just like no way no way did that like jennifer anderson did this like fix your skin yeah. like no way right i was getting frustrated like that's all bs and it turned out to be bs from a different angle <laughs> wow. but but yeah you know similar frustration like oh yeah like that that really did that for you i don't believe it but it's right. always kind of been the shadow of cannabis is people don't believe it until they're confronted with it i mean you know, uh, I, I remember key moments where, you know, sort of the fire was lit under me to, to follow cannabis research, like meeting a glaucoma patient and them being able to see you after they've used cannabis. That is a little freaky experience. Mm. That's amazing. Mm. You know, and you wouldn't believe it until you're in that situation, sure. you know, and it's yeah. like, oh, there you are. I can see you now. And it's, you know, experiences like those really, you know, kind of transform you. But, yeah, when you hear outrageous claims and there's nothing to back it up. You know, y- you tend to, you know, be skeptical, which I think is healthy in terms mm-hmm. of anything, any mm-hmm. claims people are making. But it is getting a little much. Even Montel Williams had someone run away with his quotes and stuff because he had put out a product, one of the few at the time that was actually lab tested and specialized and yep. m- exceeding standards that were required, like setting a model. And people totally kind of riffed on that and what encrypted did they do? it. They basically used his image to sell their own products oh. as if it was And he had fought for that for a long time, too. Been arrested at airports. Yep. Like, wow. he went to. Sure did. And he got, like, arrested at an airport for, like, running out of weed. Like, I think all he had was, like, a bowl on him that <laughs> <laughs> had some resin in it. <laughs> Wait a minute. And, they, and, they, <laughs> and he got arrested <laughs> at an yeah. airport for paraphernalia. That had to have been a long time ago. Yeah, it was. And, and yeah. you know, I remember he would go to these conferences. Conferences, and he made everyone put their cameras down, and he would give these beautiful speeches about cannabis and what it meant to him. But it took even him a while to come out um, uh, as, a, as an what advocate. What did he have? MS, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. He still has it, yeah. 